there's a niche activity that occupies most of my time, and it's risky. To many, it would seem unthinkable in its danger, but not to me. Not at first, anyway. I now know how much of a mistake I made. The reason I started this in the first place is because while this activity is not technically legal, the cash rewards are incredibly high. Some would consider it murder. I would consider it well paid. I'm sure if the UN ever found out about it, the activity would be banned. But hey, even if that happens, I'll still continue doing what I'm doing. I don't really have any other option. There's a good chance that I'll end up dead because of this. Maybe it's inevitable, but still, I dread it. Still, I fear it. I'm trapped, and I don't know how to escape. As for what it is I actually do, it's simple. I change the flow of time. I make it so that certain people never existed. It's like murder, but with no evidence and no suspects. Apparently, I've killed all sorts. Businessmen, crime bosses, even politicians. But the thing is, I don't remember any of it. Once a person is erased from the flow of time, no one remembers them. They cease to exist. They never existed. And so, therefore, I don't remember killing them in the first place. A freaky concept. One that probably appears interesting even to those who would never believe it. But not to me. All I want to do is get out. But I can't. I'm trapped, constantly looking over my shoulder, wondering when they'll get to me. But I bet some of you are probably thinking, what about the grandfather paradox? Would it be impossible for me to stop someone from existing if they never existed? Well, my employer found a workaround, a way to cheat the system. And using that cheat has ruined my life. To sum it up, the universe has a natural defense network for paradoxes, a kind of immune system, but on a cosmic scale. Typically, if for whatever reason a paradox would appear naturally, the universe would send antibodies to eliminate that paradox. If that paradox happened to be a human who shouldn't exist, well, the antibodies would take care of it in a very grim way. Gruesome things, those antibodies. They look kind of like people, but inside out. There's a million different variants. I, I doubt I'll ever see them all. The fact that I never know what the next one will look like is part of what keeps me up at night. Upon seeing their target, they absorb them alive, making sure every atom of their existence is disbanded in a horrific display of nature's power. The first time I saw it, I threw up. I was so disgusted by what I had seen, I just sat there for hours, crying. There was no one to comfort me but my employer. He told me this was just the way of things. Those that are strong devour the weak. Those that are able to win claim victory. He told me that as long as I stayed strong, it would never happen to me. He lied. But that was years ago. I've learned so much since then. Things my job as a murderer rely on. Things I wish I didn't know. It was my employer who taught me. He found out that the immune system could be tricked and made to kill any person you want. A key detail that made the whole thing work was that when the antibodies received orders, they remembered them regardless of if the timeline should change. Therefore, they'll remember orders issued from humans who in the new timeline never gave those orders. They exist separate from us and our rules. 
the antibodies will follow orders even if they were given from a dead timeline. That fact is what makes us able to kill people. It's a bit of an elaborate process, but it works, I think. You see, I can't remember doing any of it. I know how to, but I can't remember having ever done the process, though my employer says I've killed many people. Such a funny thing, to be a mass murderer and not remember any of it. Maybe I'd be interested to know just how many people I've erased, but bigger things occupy my thoughts now. With time comes wisdom. With time comes perspective. The antibodies are after me now. I've killed so many. Maybe it's just karma. Looking back on it now, it was only going to be a matter of time until my luck ran out. I realize now why my employer hired all of us instead of just doing it himself. One human should only draw so much attention to themselves. Because you see, the universe knows what I did. It knows we're a virus, an infection that's misdirecting cells in the body. And now it's fighting back, sending those antibodies to kill me and save the host. I keep fighting them, but it's getting harder. They're getting even stronger, and they never stop coming. My life is a living hell. The antibodies are relentless, demons that are horrific in their ability to end human lives. I've seen some that spit acid, others that mimic human voice, several small enough to crawl through air ducts, others large enough to devour me whole. I can't do this, but I'm too scared to give up. I could kill five one day, there'd just be six the next. And though I've killed many of them, it never gets easier. It never gets better. They disgust me. The thought of them haunts me. Because on some deep, unknowable level, they are wrong. Your mind knows you shouldn't be seeing them. They play tricks on you. Something about seeing them at all wrecks havoc on the human psyche. I knew a friend who gouged out her own eyes before they got to her. That's how I've been living. That's my life. Maybe if I quit this job, the antibodies would leave me alone. But I can't do that. My employer would just have another employee erase me from existence. No loose ends. And so that's how it goes. I don't have long left. But I wanted to mention one more thing, one terrible fact my employer told me. He's the only one who can see dead timelines, the only person I can't send the antibodies against, and what he said shocked me. He revealed to me a horrible truth, and I believe him. He tells me sometimes what the dead timelines were like. And now that I know the truth, I'm filled with grief for our species. A sense of loss I never knew I could feel. The worst part is, no one knows. They all go about their daily lives as if everything is fine. But what we think is normal is merely the rotten corpse of what humanity once was. Before countless timelines were genocided, and those who controlled time died out to just one victor, things were very different. And even though I hate the employer, hearing of our past, of all the atrocities, crimes, and vile acts that we as a species committed using this power is what brings me to tears. We used the antibodies once, for a war of our nightmares. The version of us long ago, and now we've fallen. We've fallen so far that we can't even begin to understand what we once were. The human population in 2021 was not originally 7 billion. It was 50 billion. 
and once we spread so far, so far and wide across creation, now all that's left is the scattered survivors of a massacre, the pathetic remains of something once beautiful. I'm cursed to know this as long as I live, and though my life continues to spiral and the monsters grow stronger and stronger, I won't give up. I'm too afraid of what it will feel like if an antibody devours me.